Hello and welcome again to Saturday Morning Sports from the TVC News Studio, Abuja. Patrick Lucifer is the Federation of African Football. Reactions trail the return of the National Sports Commission. While many see as a welcome development, they might not be agreeable to the personnel to pilot it. Plus... The pleated Arsenal face a potential second defeat in the English Premier League when they come against Liverpool. Joining me around and travel sports journalist Uche Wudo. Confederation of African Football. Confederation of African Football President Patrice Mosepe will run for a second term as the head of the continent's football governing body when elections are held next year. The South African billionaire mining magnate was elected and unopposed in March 2021 after emerging as the preferred candidate of FIFA President Gianni Infantino. No other candidates have declared their intention to stand for the leadership of the sport in Africa. Mosepe is the seventh president in the history of African football's governing body since its formation in 1956. And now, do you think that Mosepe deserves another term? Well, most people don't agree that he does, but I do agree that he does. Um, uh, he has done well. Uh, yeah, we know that some people will complain about the price of money. It's just increasing. It's just about money. Um, opening up um, other sectors and hoping that um, more competitions will bring in more money. Yeah, that's good. Uh, because the truth is, African football needs money. And if you cannot project African football the same way you project the Euros, then you have failed. He was talking to them and he made over $70 million um, dollars, uh, during the AFCON as after expenditure and every other thing that was spent. And it ha he has done well compared to when we're in Cameroon and it was just four million uh, profits after the Afcon. It didn't, it didn't add up. So for me, he's a businessman. He understands uh, the ter terrain he's trying to. But I know that there's some other um, sectors that needs his attention, like the referees. Yeah, they, we now have good referees that even go to the World Cup. That's how good um, his tenure is. But we need to do more. We need um, more um, good indemnities for the coaches, like good money for them. Um, I, I mean the referees, they're the coaches too, Co coaching licenses, they need to start doing it in countries. It's not just about doing the CAF A, CAF B, CAF, uh, CAF C. How many countries can afford to bring in um, experts to do it? Yeah, so at the end of the day, um, I would give him a 65% going to 70. He's doing well. Well, of course, uh, the story is that he's been pleaded to recontest for a second term. And we move on from their reactions, continue to trail the return of the National Sports Commission three years after the National Assembly passed the law, creating um, the NSC. Following years of agitation, the National Assembly had passed the amended law creating the National Sports Commission NSC in 2021. But three years on, the federal government had delayed the implementation until President Bola Tinubu announced the return of the Sports Commission after a decision by the Federal Executive Council. Nine years after, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu actually um, recreated uh, the commission, which is a very good uh, decision and it's a welcome development for sports in Nigeria. Yes, it is the correct decision to institute or bring back the National Sports Commission as the body that should run and manage sports in Nigeria. On assumption of office in 2015, President Mohamed Buhari's administration cancelled the commission, repealing the law, but it was reenacted with amendments in 2021. Because we've been clamoring for the coming back of the sports commission several times, we submitted so many proposals and memorandums to the government. And when it was passed, we believed it will be implemented, but it was not implemented.
First established as a council, the NSC has faced a checkered history. At different times, it has been subsumed and placed under different ministries, from labor to social, youth and sports development. This is the fourth time it is being reborn, from 1971 to 1975, then 1992 to 1995, and 2007 to 2015. In the days of the National Sports Commission, our sports, despite its uh, toddling uh, steps, functioned and we saw it happen and we saw it succeed and we saw it on the path of growth. Since the absoluteness of sports minister taking over and running sport as a sole administrator, we also saw the degenerative effect of those decisions. It's been three years since the law was passed for the return of the National Sports Commission in 2021. Sports people appear to be satisfied and they welcome the return of the NSC to take charge of sports activities and development in the country instead of the Ministry of Sports. Salomon Ajizugu, TVC News. Le the best Domestic league action continues this weekend across Europe as teams continue to fight for points in the race for league titles. Arsenal play host to Liverpool in a game considered to be a blockbuster. There will be games across all other centres. We'll preview the games in the following reports. Manchester City will look to keep pace with Premier League leaders Liverpool when they play host to Southampton this weekend. The champions have started the season well, but have been leaving it late to pick up wins. Southampton, on the other hand, are struggling. The two teams meet for the first time since April 2023, when Arlen Haaland scored twice in a 4-1 top-flight victory at St. Mary's. Both managers speak ahead of the game. Normally when you change your ideas or your thoughts, I'm not saying to adjust something. It's not about pay four in the back, five in the back. That is not the point. If you start to change your thoughts for due the results, the players will notice. They will know you are not a big believer. In the same way we try with everyone else, I think you have to accept they're a brilliant team. We're a brilliant uh, manager, brilliant players. But the, like, the challenge is so exciting for us. It's what we worked so hard for last year. It's what we will work so hard for for all of our footballing lives. In the other games, Aston Villa will play at Bournemouth, Brighton will entertain Wolves and Fulham will travel to play Everton. On Sunday, the concluding game of the Premier League will see rivals Arsenal and Liverpool engage in a tussle of titanic proportions at the Emirates Stadium. Both English behemoths were unconvinced in midweek in their Champions League affairs as Gunners urged Shakhtar Donis 1-0 and Liverpool beat Leipzig by same scoreline. The managers say they are looking forward to the encounter. Yeah, for me, they are one of the best uh, teams um, in the last decade uh, and certainly the history of this Premier League because they competed against a team that was creating record after record and they were consistently. That, that shows a lot of uh, relentless and, and winning mentality. If you look at the last two seasons, Arsenal were far ahead of us, but also above, uh, above Chelsea. So you would assume that... Um, Playing Arsenal will even be more difficult. but that's There will be more games on Sunday as Chelsea will play Newcastle United and Manchester United will travel to play West Ham. In the La Liga on Saturday, Real Valladolid will be at home to Villarreal. Las Palmas will play Girona and Real Madrid will entertain Barcelona. On Sunday, Lagones will play Celta Vigo. Atletico Madrid will be away to Real Betis and Osasuna will play Real Sociedad. In the Italian Serie A, Napoli will play Lecce, Atalanta will play host to Verona and on Sunday, Parma are at home to Empoli, Juventus will play Inter Milan, while Roma will travel to play Fiorentina. All right, let's turn to you again, Uche, and uh, this weekend, big games, but Liverpool-Arsenal, um, well, do you think <laughs> that Arsenal can survive? Well, they might. Uh, we know that Mikel Arteta has told them to be disciplined. Uh, no, uh, churning out 10 men uh, uh, performance. They need to step up their game, not get a red card. It's against the Liverpool. Well, Liverpool struggled against Chelsea, and it shows that they, Arsenal can actually get something out if they are willing to start off early and not be complacent. Yes, there's this complacency with Arsenal that we are Arsenal and we're going to get the results, but there's this confidence that and Slot has that gives him all the edge when it comes to um, him being at the helm of affairs in Liverpool. So for me, I think that's a 50-50 game and um, maybe winner take all.
that makes it interesting a lot to look forward to but that's our show for today thank you for watching and keep watching tvc news